Introvert has been used to describe someone who doesn't like people, is socially awkward, or even mean and hostile towards others. Although this stereotype is widespread, it is only a stereotype. The cultural definitions of introvert or extrovert actually have little to do with what actual introversion or extroversion are. Social ability is only one component of the introversion-extroversion dimension of the human personality. In addition to social ability, other components include persistence and sensation seeking. Persistence is the ability to keep attention focused on a task. Introverts tend to be more persistent than extroverts. Sensation seeking is the tendency to seek out social or physical activity. Introverts tend to shy away from sensations because they are already internally aroused. They don't need to go to parties, go skydiving, or seek out noise and crowds because they feed off their own internal stimulation. Extroverts, on the other hand, seek out sensations externally. They feed off of social and physical activity to reach their optimal level of arousal. So the stereotype that introverts are not friendly people is not necessarily true. Introverted people can be just as capable at having relationships with others. In fact, introverts can have very deep, personal relationships. They are just more comfortable being with their friends one-on-one -on -one, rather than in big crowds of people where extroverts may thrive. Hostility is an entirely different dimension of the human personality that is separate from the introversion-extroversion dimension. This dimension is called agreeableness. On one end, you have a friendly person. And on the other, coldness or hostility. The third dimension is neuroticism. Neuroticism is the tendency of a person to feel negative emotions like anxiety and depression. The other extreme is the characteristic of being cool, calm, and collected, especially under pressure. Conscientiousness is one of the last personality dimensions. Conscientiousness is the tendency of a person to be organized and detail-oriented. Versus disorganized or messy. The last dimension is openness to experience. This characteristic is determined by those who like a variety in their experiences, meaning they seek out new places, new food, or new music. On the other end are those who prefer or have a need for routine and consistency in their lifestyle. It's important to remember that these are all bipolar dimensions, meaning that the characteristics we've described here are only two extremes lying on opposite ends of a continuous spectrum. That includes different variations and degrees to which someone is introverted, conscientious, agreeable, neurotic, or open to experience. People have a tendency to identify with one extreme or the other, but the majority of people are somewhere in the middle of each spectrum. The human personality is complex, diverse, and unique, just as each individual is. The important thing is to not spread stereotypes, but instead to appreciate the diversity of all types of people.